Welcome back to the Razorback Film Room. I'm Matt Zimmer, along with former Razorback great Travis Swanson. Sw Travis, we got a good treat today. <laughs> We're going to look back at a good old classic Arkansas and Auburn game from right here in Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. What makes this one a little special is... You played in this one. So we're going to break it down a yeah. little bit. It's number 10 versus number 15. Yeah. National rankings, a lot, of, lot on the line that night. It was a beautiful night in Fayetteville. Yeah. Do you remember that game? I do. I remember it quite a bit. You know, I think we're now at the point. Uh, at what point do you say you, you, you dust it off some of the tape and back in the archives to get yeah. this back out? So you're thinking this is not old enough to be archives, right? This seems like it's fresh in your mind. It's fresh in my mind. It might be archives in some people's <laughs> minds. It feels like so much has happened between, obviously, back then and now right. with changing of the guard and everything that's taking place. This game, I remember this. this. This was so fun. This 2011 team, and I know that we talked about it when Tyler Wilson was in here um, breaking down that A&M game from 2011. I mean, we were just so confident and everything we were doing. We had a great 2010 season, yeah. obviously coming off, going to the Sugar Bowl, and, and we were just so confident throughout the entire team, really all, all phases of the game. Yeah, good players coming back, and yep. the program was rolling. You had every reason to be confident. Every reason. We were well into the, the, the 2011 season at this point, so we had gotten a lot of those early season kinks kind of worked out. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing those right here. Look at this that is, crowd right there, Travis. I know. It's, it looks like that nowadays. Now it's back to that, which is really, really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Uh, first, when I see this, it's interesting. I don't, I don't think this is legal anymore. <laughs> we, used to, we used to have this play call where it was just Everybody a, just went straight down. It was, it was a quick game. You could set and just cut your guys down, and they all <laughs> fall down. There's really not a whole lot of technique, X's and O's behind it. Um, they, they didn't, you know, Tyler would just dump the ball off to these kind of guys right here, Joe Adam. And uh, Joe Adams, and he'd just go do his thing right there. And uh, wow. looking back, I mean, that's, we are just so many playmakers, as uh, uh, Arkansas fans can, can relate to. This was, I remember this happening on the field. Okay. So we're, we're uh, six yard line. Six yard line going in. We got this, we got this like duo type concept play, which is like you're trying to create just as many double teams that makes the most sense just to get the ball in. These guys. They're messed up. They don't know where they're shifting. They don't know what they're doing. So in my head, I'm just like, oh, yeah. goodness, this is about to be just a complete yeah. mess right here. Because you know, They were still moving as you're snapping the They're ball. still moving, but we somehow made this thing work. You know, Alvin was the type of player that could just, it was like a wrecking ball, Boom. just come in and just mow that side of the line down. There's Okiro Small leading up in the hole right there Boom. on the wrecking ball. And then Broderick Green, I mean, no one was, you know, Anyone that got in his path, he had a good shot of just mowing him over. Yeah. Colton Nash right there. We were talking about this before, kind of like that Trey Knox yeah. type position right there. He was a defensive end that came over. I know Trey was a wide receiver. Yeah. But Travis, in this alignment right here, compare it like today where we'd have three and four guys out. I mean, everybody's on that line of scrimmage. You got yeah. one receiver up and yeah. you got two guys in the backfield. It's old school right now. This is about as old school as you can try to get. There's no real hiding what was going to happen at this point. And right. We were, we were, you know, we weren't necessarily the biggest guys from an offensive line standpoint in the SEC, but, you know, we, I would say our effort and how hard we tried and how much it meant to us is really what set us apart from other groups. That was, that was a fun run right there. Let's see. Just got a little, little play action pass right here. Fake it to Dennis. Got a long Dennis, time. Dennis stays in protection. Dennis is always really, really good at Locking. helping out the tackles. From yeah. a chip standpoint, he went. He went and sought that block out. Yeah, he found it right there. He was going to help our guy, Graham Freeman, out, and Tyler. Tyler doing what Tyler can do. Give him time. Sets his feet. Launch that thing. Jerry is right. Great catch, man. And Auburn was game in this game. They played well. Auburn yeah, they, their head here. They were always a really, really good team. Um, someone you definitely have to had to respect. Now they they bring a little corner blitz or a cowboy as we we always called it you know I don't know why we didn't slide this out it was probably that center's fault for making the wrong call <laughs> if I had to uh, if I had to guess um Tyler's got one coming free though you can you can see that he senses it and just dumps this dumps this thing off real quick you know I would have loved to have actually gotten this call right on my behalf so you do think you missed the call though. I, I'll take that bullet I'll, I'll eat that um I probably probably made the wrong call on that. If we could have picked this guy up, watch. 
This guy's playing so far off of Kobe. He could have got it there quick. He just could have dumped it. I mean, right there. Mm -hmm. You get Kobe Hamilton one on one with somebody, yeah. shoot. That's a good thing. You got other guys like Joe and Jerry. Yeah, guys can, can make in. plays. Chris Gregg, great down block right here. Got a pull scheme with Grant Freeman. Grant's leading up in the alleyway. It's just chaos. He's, he loses his helmet. He's trying to find it. There's just <laughs> carnage the going, still going on. Yeah, carnage going on behind him. He's got no idea. Dennis. This was just the epitome of who Dennis Johnson was. He just keeps going. Built in leverage, sawed off, strong, just, I mean, wow. just shedding. Great run. Wow. Shedding tacklers. That place is going, going crazy just when plays going, like that happen. Just going insane. Got some defensive plays right here. I mean, this defense was stacked. Got Highsmith, Jerry Franklin. Jericho Nelson, Jake Beckett. Jake, showing that effort, getting the sack. Yeah, that team, that 2011 team was special. Very, very special. We got just a drop back pass. Let's see, who does this end up to? It was good protection. And then Colby, mm -hmm. just doing what? Kobe does. A little tiptoe on the sideline right there. See, Tyler had such a good timing with all of these guys. They knew exactly where the pockets were, those tiny pockets in every yeah. single defense to fit this ball into. If it's a yard short, yard too far, Kobe might just get his ribs taken yeah. out. Just a quick game right here. Left side of the line does a good job fanning out. Peacock Eight. picks out picks up this defensive back that's coming right there. And I mean, this was just a bread and butter. Anytime you could see, yeah, one on one right there. I mean, come on. No, oh, there it is. I know this is typically the uh, the highlight that people. Yeah. Tend to see when they, when they show this game. Great run. Now they're bringing a blitz on the backside right here. So this guy's essentially going to run himself out of the play just because he's on the backside. Kiro does a great job cutting that guy down. And then, I mean, just this hurdle move right there by Joe. Whoop. And then just <laughs> great blocking downfield by Chris Gregg. Look at that. Look at that And run. just turns on the afterburners. And that place came unglued, <laughs> unglued. I remember running downfield. Did you get up and chase after him? Oh yeah, I was, <laughs> I was notorious for trying to catch up to him, All right. thinking I could. Yeah. Just look at that. Breaks never, never breaks stride like a herd boy. Wow. Great block. There's nothing guys. better than when you're on that ground and you're fighting and you look up and that backs. You look at your teammate and you see yep. his you see him sprinting down the field and he's still got that ball in his hand. That roar of the crowd was always it was always interesting being on the field because you could tell when it was a good roar or a bad roar. Mm. That one right there I knew. I was the moment I had my face in the ground just covered in those black pellets from the turf. <laughs> and I was like, ah, we did something good. Right. That's a good feeling. <laughs> yep. Got some more defensive plays right here. Now you're getting a little lead up two touchdowns. Got a good pick. That defense, from what I remember, was just a bunch of just scrappy, hard-nosed guys that just played so good together. Is that Eric Bennett? I think that's Eric Bennett. That's a heck of a pick right there. And at this point, we're feeling really, really good about ourselves. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Let's see, which one is this? They're trying to do this little play action pass right they here. They changed quarterbacks. Yeah, they have. I can't remember if they're they just got hurt or what the case was. This one looks like a deflection. Yeah, tip. Tip was it, ball. Was it tipped? Not at the line, but right here. Boom. Oh yeah, right there. Their receiver couldn't bring it in. And boom. Just in a great position. I think that's Tremaine. That's Tremaine Thomas right there. 
who's a heck of a player. He almost lost it, though. Oh. And then right there, Eric Benneke again. Yeah. Let's see. Now the main, now Tien's back in. Uh, oh, boom, right there. Tremaine Thomas showing up. Got man-to-man -man cover. Oh, looks like man on his backside right here. But Tremaine wow. makes a heck of a play. He was such a good player for us. Zach Stat, they're showing up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give, him a little, give him a little shot to the old <laughs> I love it. Oh, got a little, little jailbreak oh, screen happening right here. That's great. Grand downfield, Peacock going downfield. Dennis doing his thing. Wow. Getting in. Place going crazy. And that looks like this year. Which everyone is happy, yeah. Good, good to see. Travis, that was a great night in Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. And yeah. uh, Gene Chiswick was the head coach, and Gus Malzahn was the, yeah. the offensive coordinator. And I think they were just coming off their national championship season, so. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was a really really good Auburn team, and we knew that going into it. But I think you know when when I think back to really not only this game but just that 2011 team in general, we were so good. Of well, one the coaches preparing us going into the week, scouting reports, things like that. I think the way that they prepared us, it was almost as if we knew what the defense was going to do before they even did it. Yeah, which was obviously in a much favorable position to be in as opposed to not being in that. Um, but we we're one of the most confident teams I'd ever been a part of was that 2011 team. So yeah. coming back and just reliving the uh, glory days, as I call it, Absolutely. is always it's always fun. We all won 11 games, mm -hmm. and it just haven't hasn't happened a lot in our history. It's very mm -hmm. difficult. You play a 12 game schedule. You, you know, you maybe have an SEC championship game, maybe not. You get a bowl game, and mm -hmm. so it's you guys play. 13 games, you go 11 and 2, very, very, very strong. Very strong. Very difficult to do that. Yeah, extremely. But, uh, and you know, we, we were a talented group. You know, I, I think when you look at the landscape of the SEC at that time, what all the, all the teams had from a roster standpoint, um, I think what really got us to that point was just how much it meant to us yeah. and how much we cared about one another. Just because, you know, we were big guys and we we're strong guys, but at the end of the day, um, you had the Alabamas that, that had all their yeah. guys and LSU. LSU was the number one team in the country. Yeah, when we played them, they were number one team. So a lot of it for us came down to just kind of that effort and how much do you really want it, um, which I think got us to as far as as far as it took us, which is 11 wins, which was yeah. fun to be a part of. Absolutely. Well, that's a great Arkansas team, and we've not had 11 wins since, and we're hoping to get there really soon. But it's uh, yeah. that was a great team, and I know that gives you a lot of pride. and it does. Just seeing your teammates and – Reliving that, it's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, really, really nice. Interesting, like, oh, I did used to move like that back in the day. <laughs> Maybe not nowadays, but, um, yeah, I, this team that we have this year, I know can get to this level. Um, they just keep building and doing yeah. what they're doing. Absolutely. Well, that's great to go back. We appreciate you joining us in the Razorback film room. We'll see you next time.